everybody. I'm in the same forest as I was last time. And the first find of the day is a 303 shell casing, a British one. As you can see on the bottom, it says 1943. And as you can see right there, you can see that dent. It's a small stripe. That means that this one is fired by the brand gun. Let's see what we can find more today. So I just found a German Mauser cartridge. And as you can see on the back, it's from 1936. There you can see it, 1936, right there. And it's broken. Right there, it's not in the best condition. But uh, yeah, you can still see the hat stamp pretty good, so that's nice. Let's carry on. All right, so I just found another cartridge. It was a uh, broken British 303. And right now, I just found a part of a tail from a two inch mortar. And as you can see, um, it's exploded, definitely. There you can see the small holes. It's a very nice piece. There you can see some red paint still remaining there. That's a very awesome find. And I just found another Mauser cartridge. As you can see, the primer is pretty rusted right there. I believe it's from 1943. And as you can see, this is in pretty good condition. I clean it a little bit right there. Let's carry on. Another Mauser cartridge. As you can see, it's in very bad condition. It's made from iron. And <clears throat> I just found this uh, from a bicycle, as you can see. So uh, maybe from a Truppenfahrrad. Who knows, I don't know. Uh, looks like uh, it's exploded right there. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep it, but that's pretty uh, interesting. Another Mauser cartridge. Uh, so they definitely were sitting behind this right here. As you can see, this was cover. And they were probably firing in that direction. And uh, yeah, that is very, very cool. Another Mauser shell casing. Awesome. All right, so this is where I just found the Mauser shell casing. And right over here, I just found another one. So yep, they were definitely hiding behind this right here. And I just found this Dutch coin from 1980. Nope, it's not silver, but it's nice. As you can see, it's in great condition. It's always nice to find coins, so that's a great find. Let's carry on. All right, look what I just found. I just found a bullet. And this is a 45, so maybe from the Thompson or the Colt 45. As you can see, it's uh, exploded. Yeah, maybe this bullet killed someone. This is where I found the Mauser shell casing, so uh, yeah, who knows. I just found another shell casing, but this is actually a 303. And right there, you can see it says DAC, so it's a Canadian shell casing. And it says 1942. As you can see on the primer, the dent is different. The other one is a stripe, a small stripe that's fired by the brain gun. And this small circle, this one is fired by the Lee Anfield. I just found another small bullet, and this is actually from a M1 carbine. I first thought it was a 9mm, but um, as you can see right there, it's flat, so it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely a uh, M1 carbine. I just found a British 303 and a 9mm shell casing in the same hole. As you can see right here, this one says 1942, and this one is fired by the brand, as you can see on the primer. And this one, as you can see, this one's damaged, and this definitely happened um, in World War II. Probably uh, someone... Uh, walked over or something. And as you can see in the back, I don't know if you can see it right there, you can see the broad arrow, and it says 43, nine millimeter. And really close to where I found the nine millimeter shell casing, I just found a nine millimeter bullet. All right, so uh, I had a small signal right over here, and as you can see, it was pretty deep. And I just discovered this. This is a World War II rifle grenade. As you can see, there's supposed to be a tail right there, and um, we turn it around, you can see it's exploded, so it's empty. And um, yeah, of course, I was very careful. I was uh, digging around it very carefully. And then I discovered it was empty, as you can see. And uh, look at that, a World War II rifle grenade. How cool is that? It's in pretty good condition still. It's supposed to be the detonator right over there. And uh, there's the powder. Well, not anymore, of course. But there is supposed to be some powder inside there. Wow.
inside I just found this beautiful cartridge. Look at this. First of all, um, it's in very good condition. And if we turn it around, you can see it's from 1944. This is a German shell casing. And uh, you can see it says AUI. And S in small star means it's made from brass. And look at this. How the hell did this happen? That is very strange, but that makes this shell casing very special. Look at that. <laughs> very, very cool. Take a look at that. That's a 303 live round. And it's in pretty good condition. If we turn it around, you can see the date right over there. 1943. Very, very nice. Right, I just found some more um, bullets. And as you can see, I just found some more shell casings as well. Um, these are 303s again. And this one is actually also British. Um, this one looks like the Mauser k 98 k but it's not. As you can see in the back, right there, you can see. 42 means 1942. And K2. So this is a British shell casing. All right, guys. So I just found a lot more bullets right over there somewhere. And this is going to be the last one of the day. Let's see. Bam! There we go. That is definitely from the Second World War. Definitely used to uh, make these trenches and stuff. That is very, very cool. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, guys, I'm in the same forest today again, and I just found some bullets. And right now, I just found a shell casing, and as you can see, it's a German one. It's a Mauser. As you can see on the left, it says 19, and on the right, it says 38, so 1938. That's a very nice find. Let's carry on. And right next to it, I just found another Mauser shell casing, and uh, I actually also found a bullet in the same hole, an exploded bullet. Hmm, interesting. All right, I just found a lot of exploded bullets, and right now, I just found another shell casing, and it's another German one. As you can see, it's the same one again, 1938. Just found this, and I found them more in this location, and also in other German locations. This is from a small railroad, and the Germans use that to um, transport stuff, sand and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, this is definitely from the same time frame, and uh, yeah, left behind. I'm not gonna keep it, but another World War II find. I just found a coin. As you can see, there is some Vaseline on it, so uh, I can preserve it. And um, it's a Dutch coin from, I believe, the 1800s. All right, guys, I was detecting like this, and then suddenly I uh, went over this. Look at this. It's a dead deer. A young one, as you can see. Look at that. All right, rest in peace. All right, guys, so as you can see, there's a pretty deep hole. And um, look what I just found. This right here is the tail of a uh, bazooka. Bazooka rocket. And um, I believe this is still dangerous. I know the explosive head is missing, but um, I believe this, this part is still dangerous, as you can see right there. Hmm. Do not really trust that. Yeah, it's a pretty cool find, uh, but of course, you need to make sure if it's dangerous or not, I'm not gonna move it. And uh, if it is, of course, then we need to report it to the police. If not, it's going back into the hole. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna leave it right here. I'm not gonna move it. So uh, yeah, a bazooka rocket tail. There's a terrific back blast of flame when the rockets fire. Watch what it does to that white sheet. Get the idea? Rule number one, keep away from the rear of the launcher. All right, I just found this strange item. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's just some kind of detonator. Hmm, definitely looks like something. Um, explosive related but I could be wrong but I'm not sure what it is it's a strange item all right so just found two Mauser shell casing on the spot where I'm sitting right now and right in the same spot I just found this life round and this is a uh, British 303 but the funny thing is, as you can see on the back, there it says 1943. But as you can see right there on the primer, as you can see right there on the primer, it has been shot, but it didn't fire. So we uh, reloaded again and just fired the, the other rounds, of course. And this one um, popped out of the rifle. That's pretty cool. All right, I just discovered all these shell casings from the Bren gun on the same spot. There's still a lot of signals in the hole, but um, 
I'm gonna fill it up right now. We're gonna leave. It's getting late already. But as you can see, a lot of 303 shell casings. Look what I just found. I just found a piece of wood and inside there is a 9mm bullet right there. That means that he shot through a tree and uh, the tree rotted away and uh, we just found it. Alright guys, I'm in the same forest today again and look what I just found. This is the first find of the day. Look at this. This is a cap for a 2 inch mortar grenade. Look at that. It says remove before firing and this is a very very cool find. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. And it's in pretty good condition as you can see. That is absolutely fantastic. Remove before firing. Very very nice find. Let's see what we can find more today. So that's where I found the two inch mortar cap. And as you can see, this is a definitely some kind of a trench and they have been firing mortars from this position. And right next to it, I just found a broken M1 carbine shell casing, PC 1943. All right guys, so right next to it, I just found a German Mauser uh, shell casing and as you can see, it's flat. So uh, yep, German activity also on this uh, spot, but uh, <laughs> I can't show you the hat stand because uh, I need to clean it and I forgot all my brushes and steel and stuff because I was cleaning the other finds for my other video. But uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a Mauser cartridge so that's another great find. Let's carry on. Another shell casing but this time it's a 303 fired by the brand gun as you can see on the stripe on the primer. Very very cool. Alright, I just found uh, another broken shell casing right over there somewhere and I just found another US 30 cal shell casing and as you can see it's flat again. And uh, I'm right next to the road, so uh, yep, that makes sense. Probably uh, drove over it or something. It says SL1943. A 9mm shell casing. Um, I cannot check the date or the country because I forgot my steel ball. But uh, yeah, it's another nice find. A Dutch shell casing from the Second World War. Mmm, that is very cool. Hambrug carbine. Awesome. All right, guys, look at this. Four shell casings in one hole. As you can see, it's um, 303 and US 30 cal. And look at this. There's more in there, so let's take a look. Yep, there we go. Another 303. All right, I just found this. And you're probably wondering, what is that? Oh, this is a part of a Mills grenade piece of shrapnel. This is uh, from the inside of a Mills grenade. So that is pretty cool. I just found a lot more shell casings and right now I just found a life round and this is actually a German life round from the Mauser K98K or from the MG42 or from the Gewehr 43 or everything. Actually almost everything. So uh, yeah, a German life round. Jawohl! That's a German Mauser shell casing. As you can see right there, on the top it says 1937. That is very, very cool. All right guys, look what I just found. I found this, and this is not the first one I found. I actually found a couple of these before, years ago, and I still don't know what they are. Um, I'm always finding them on uh, World War II locations. It's a strange, yeah, it looks like some kind of a bipod, but it's not, it's not from MG or something, I believe. As you can see, um, this looks like a it's supposed to be on the ground. It looks very interesting and I'm, yeah, pretty sure it's from the Second World War. It's always found on um, World War II positions and stuff like that. So yeah, what is this? If you guys recognize this, please let me know because it's a very interesting item and I still don't know what it is. And I'm really wondering what this could be. Actually, some uh, other people who are also searching also found these. So um, also in a World War II location, if you know, Please leave a comment. Take a look at that. These are pieces of shrapnel from a Mills grenade from the inside. Another cool find. All right, guys, as you can see, it's a pretty deep hole. And a very nice signal right in this uh, edge here. And look at that, a shovel, a very old shovel. Pretty sure this is also from the soldiers here, probably uh, making the trenches and stuff like that. So uh, that's very cool. Look at that. I'm not gonna keep it, but it's an awesome find. All right, guys, can you see that hill right there? Behind that edge right there is where I found Mauser shell casings. And right over here is some kind of a trench. And right in the trench, I just found two shell casings fired by the Leanne field. So that means they probably saw each other from this position right over here and have been firing right in this direction. 
to each other and uh, they were hiding behind this and the Germans were hiding behind that right there. That is very cool. All right, look at this. A very big lid of a cooking pan. Definitely from a few kitchen or something. Yep, definitely from the same time frame. All right, this is a cigarette casing. And I just found it right there. I broke it because I thought it was a can, just a soda can. But no, it was a uh, cigarette casing. And I'm pretty sure it's also from the Second World War. Ah, stupid mosquitoes. I'm pretty sure this is also from the Second World War. But uh, yeah, it's in very bad condition, so I'm not gonna keep it. But uh, yeah, it's another very cool find. All right, so I found a lot of remove before firing caps right here on this spot where I'm sitting right now. Um, two inch mortar stuff and uh, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, but right now, I just found this. And I found these sort of caps before also in this location. And I believe it's some kind of detonator. This is a pretty cool find. Um, I have to search on the internet to be sure what it is. But uh, yeah, it's very cool. It's World War II and I like it. And look at that. That's a piece of shrapnel. I just found this strange uh, lead item and as you can see it has white paint and it's pretty heavy because it's lead and it has two holes. This is some kind of practice item? I don't know. Interesting. So I just found another piece of a Mills grenade as you can see and right next to it I just found this and it's another cap. So this is for the fuse from the Piat. That is very 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 cool. And this right here actually is the fuse. Look at that, I just found it. And um, yeah, this right over here, that goes in it like that. And then the other one on this side. And uh, yeah, that's how you carry them. That is very, very awesome. Look at that. Guys, this is very cool. I just found these two caps in the same hole. So I found this one, that one, and that one in one hole. Look at this. There we go. It's still complete. How cool is that? Oh yeah, look at this guys. This looks like a hunting shell casing, part of it, but it's actually not. It's actually a primer from the Second World War. And I found them before in this uh, location. So that is very awesome. And I just found another Piat fuse cap. Wow, this is such a cool location. Guys, look how many primers I just found. I'm constantly digging all in this area. It's Full of these primers, look at that. That is fantastic. This is so cool, it's just full of signals. That is so awesome. Very nice signals and very cool finds. And look at that. Just found two more fuses and another cap right over here. And there are even more signals. How cool is that? Wow, that really looks like it was here. As you can see, this is a position. And right over there, you can see a small hill. Hmm. And look at that, another Piat fuse. Wow, 
all in this area. I just found some more fuses right over there and right here I just found a 50 cal bullet and as you can see it has a black tip which means that this one is a armor piercing round and that is very cool. Look at that guys. I just found another safety cap from a two inch mortar grenade. It says remove before firing and the arrow to the right. That is so cool. Man I love this place. I really want to sleep here. You know what that is guys? That's a German World War II button. It's uh, not in the best condition, but it's a German World War II army button. And um, they use these for everything, for uh, bread bags, tents and uh, yeah, everything. That's a very, very good find. All right, so behind this tree, I found the German button. And right over here, I just found another one. So that means that Definitely something happened here. Hmm, but what? Let's search for some more stuff in this area. All right, so that's where I found the two German buttons. As you can see, here's the tree. And right over here, I just found a British 303 shell casing fired by the Bren gun. Ouch, I'm getting stung. But that's uh, very interesting. Let's carry on. All right, I just had a very nice signal. And this is what I found. Um, it's very heavy and there is nothing on it. I really don't know what this is. This is very strange. What could this be? Looks pretty interesting. All right, guys, here are the finds after some cleaning. And of course, these are not all the finds, but just a couple of them. I know you guys were waiting for a new video, so um, I didn't clean them all. Here we have uh, two 9mm shell casings, not clean completely. Yep, pretty cool. Here we got some 303 shell casings in good condition. Here we have a nice German late war shell casing. As you can see, it's from 1944, and the primer is made from iron. And we have some more German and actually also British shell casings. Here we have two 3 cal US shell casings. Here you can see a 303 and a German shell casing damaged in a very strange way. That is very strange. This is also a late war German shell casing as you can see, 1944. Very nice condition. Always like to find damaged shell casings and stuff. Also this one, very strange. Wonder uh, what happened with it. Here we have just one of the many pieces of shrapnel we found from a British Mills bomb. Then we have a nice small piece of a two inch mortar grenade. As you can see, it still has a lot of red paint. And that is very, very nice. Very cool that it's still there. Here you can see a 50 cal in very, very bad condition. Here we have the rifle grenade. As you can see, it's exploded and empty. These are pretty rare to find. Very cool. Uh, still not clean completely, but um, yeah, a very, very cool find. Then we have these unknown items. This is a very heavy piece of something. It's not from lead. Um, I really don't know what it is. Definitely something happened with it, as you can see. If you know what this could be, please leave a comment. I really don't know. It's very heavy. And we have this piece. I believe this is actually lead. It had some uh, white paint on it, as you can see. Also don't know what it is. Here we have the M1 carbine bullet in very nice condition because it was inside of a piece of wood. We have a Dutch coin from the 1980s. As you can see, it's not silver, but it's a nice coin. I actually thought it was a pool tab or just a small piece of uh, aluminum, but it turned out to be a pendant, as you can see. Look at that. It's in very bad condition, but who cares? It's a very cool find and really unexpected. I really didn't know. Here we have a Dutch coin from 1878, as you can see. It's falling apart on the edges, but um, yeah, it's still readable. It's one cent. Then we have one of the many primer things from the Piat. Very cool. And next to it, you can see two German buttons. This one is made from aluminum and that one from an uh, other kind of material. As you can see, they are both in very bad condition. And this one is the worst, as you can see. Here you can definitely see the typical German army button aluminum and this one yeah very bad condition but they are german army buttons so that's very very cool then we have the piat fuse carrying containers um i didn't took the other two with me uh, they're probably still full i'm not gonna take a uh, working detonator home of course that's dangerous you just can't trust it after so many years so i'm not gonna open them i just left them behind and um fuses are really dangerous so uh, it's cool i found it it's cool to film it but of course the empty ones aren't dangerous so uh, as you can see empty carrying containers very cool to find some of them actually still have this this is uh to protect the fuse this was still inside so that's very cool and then of course we have the fuses themselves. As you can see, this one is in pretty good condition still. And these are all empty. And like I showed you before, this works like this. This one goes in there. And this part goes in there. And there you have it. But yeah, like I said, um, if they are still full, 
they are pretty dangerous and of course also illegal. These are actually my favorite ones. As you can see, the safety caps for the two inch mortar grenades, as you can see, remove before firing and they are in pretty good condition still, even better than I thought. This one still has the remains of red paint right there. So uh, I'm not gonna clean that of course, because uh, I like the original paint on it. As you can see, you have to turn to the right. That is very cool. We got two different models, as you can see. Always very cool to find. And we turn this one around, you can see the inside, very good condition. There you can see the threads. Absolutely fantastic. And this one also has a stamp inside, as you can see, SDR. Very, very nice. Awesome caps in great condition. And of course, guys, here are the remaining finds, as you can see. Not cleaned, um, but still <laughs> a lot of finds, and it's so much work to clean them. As you can see, a lot of shell casings from different countries. A lot of pieces of shrapnel, some post-war shell casings as well. Here we have a cone from inside a rocket, as you can see. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, some more shrapnel. And a lot of these primer things from the Piat 303s. We have bullets, we have shell casings, pieces of shrapnel, everything. Pieces of rubber. <laughs> yep, a lot of finds. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more metal detecting videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.